What's good guys, it's your boy George and welcome to my first video. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to improve your vertical jump. And this experiment is on me. Like, I'm 5'7", 170 meters uh, for uh, Europeans out there. Shout out to you guys. <sighs> and the round I'm going to be experimenting on is 10 feet. Approximately like 3 meters or something. And... I cannot dunk right now. I cannot dunk. And so I'm going to do a jump right now so you can see that I cannot dunk. I can only reach the rim with the tip of my, fi the tip of my fingers. So what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be exercising, showing you all how I exercise, what exercises I do. And... I'm also going to be showing you all my progress for the dunk, let's say. Okay. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the mentality you got to have. You got to be consistent and never give up. If you have the, the combination of those two, in my opinion, you're never going to fail. Because if you're consistent and exercise on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or even on a weekly basis, you can reach it. You, you can reach pretty much everything. You can achieve pretty much everything. And if you never give up, even in real, real tough moments that you want to give up, if you don't give up, if you never give up with consistency and never giving up, like, you can do pretty much everything. Okay? And next, next up, I'm going to be talking about why I'm making this video, okay? I'm making this video for some reasons, okay? As I told you, I'm 5'7", and most of my classmates are over 5'10". Some of them, like more than half of them, are over 6 feet. And I've always been, uh, like, one of the shortest in my class. Like, as far as long as I can remember, like, in third grade, I was the shortest dude in the class. So apart from being the shortest dude in my class, I've always been the shortest dude in my basketball team. And that's kind of a problem. Uh, like, all, all of my teammates are over six feet. And I'm kind of in trouble, you know. Um, so I'm going to make this video so I can improve myself, like increase my vertical jump. Um, uh, have the have the ability to get rebounds over taller defenders, and also finish to the basket easily. So, I'm also doing this video not just by myself. Like if I wanted to do it for myself, I wouldn't even film it. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for you guys as well, because I'm going to inspire and motivate some young athletes that are having the same problems as I'm having. High problems and uh, try make them uh, overcome the, these problems, not by getting taller, because you cannot control that, but by increasing the self-confidence and their vertical jump. And by increasing the vertical jump, their confidence is going to increase as well. Like, you know. So, take Nate Robinson, for example. He was 5'7", he's still 5'7". He was an NBA legend. He dunked on people. He once blocked Yao Ming and uh, I think Shaquille O'Neal, yeah. He was a legend, he was short. And I wanna prove to y'all that by putting in hard work and motivation and never giving up what I said in the beginning of the video, you can pretty much achieve everything. So I'm going to be showing y'all some exercises that you can do to increase some, to uh, in, to strengthen some muscles like the glutes and some uh, leg muscles, and also some tips. For example, for I'm going to be showing for both two leg jumpers, two foot jumpers, and one foot jumpers. So, for example, I'm going to be showing you mostly tips for your approach to the basket, how you can increase how you can improve your approach to the basket so you can add some inches in your vertical jump. 
Um, for example, you have to be driving fast and not stuttering in the end, something that, mo that many players do. And uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's a big mistake, in my opinion, and in Coach Rock's opinion. Shout out to him, because he helped me throughout this whole, like, he inspired me to do this. And after I show you these mistakes, I'm, going, I'm also going to be showing you how to avoid them, how to avoid making these mistakes in order to help you add inches to your vertical jump. So I'm going to shout out my, my, my dog, my dog Coach Rock from My Life Basketball TV. So subscribe to them. There's going to be a link down in the description who inspired me to do this video, gave me the idea, and also inspired me through his talking. You're going to see in his videos, uh, like from two, three years ago, that he's mostly inspiring people in the beginning of these videos, and then showing them how to do, like how to increase your vertical jump. So shout out to my boy Coach Rock. Thank you for inspiring me to do this video. And uh, let's get to the exercise part. The first exercise is about strengthening these muscles right here. These muscles. So these muscles provide you with power when you go up to jump so you can jump higher. And um, doing this exercise, I'm about to show you, you're really, really empowering and strengthening these muscles so they can provide you with enough power to jump. So for this, for this first exercise, we're gonna be needing one of these. But if you don't have one of these, you can still use your towel or you can even do it without anything. So let me show you. Okay. Um, so I'm actually taking my shoes off because they, they kind of annoy me when I'm doing this exercise. So you have to put this for resistance, mainly resistance. So you keep it back. And you do this movement with your foot, with your foot. Do this movement. And I'm already hurting and this muscle is burning right now. So if you feel that, if you feel this, um, that's a good sign. So I suggest you do uh, three reps, uh, three uh, sets of 20 reps each for each, each foot three times so you have to do three sets for the right foot 20 reps each and three sets for the left foot um, 20 reps each so every day of course so if you do that you're gonna really see results in uh, your jumping because these muscles are gonna be strengthening enough to give you enough power to jump really really high so, so the next exercise you can be using is the familiar to all of us the jumping rope mr jumping rope over here uh, so this exercise mainly uh, uh helps you with uh, your consistency and uh, your leg muscles being familiar with this movement right here and this movement over here uh doesn't only really strengthen these muscles like that like uh, the previous exercise but also strengthens these muscles before uh, behind so the, these muscles are all are uh, of uh, of the same importance for your jumping because they provide you with they provide you with power when you jump in order to jump higher. So what I suggest is uh, do three sets of uh, jumping rope of a hundred reps each. So one, two, three, four, and keep going. So if you can't do three, you can do two, but the more is the best. So I usually do three because um, I mean, I practiced enough so I can live with three. But if you can't do three and you get tired, you can also live with two. Next exercise, you uh, we have to be using either one of these or a little box. Uh, like a wooden box, not plastic or paper box. Um, because this also helps with your consistency and it helps you 
be uh, familiarized with the, the movement you're going to be using before you jump. So look at this. Um, let me do the ball. You're going to be doing this and landing on the box or anything else you use. Try to, to do the movement before you jump as fast as possible. Like, land your feet as fast as, fast as possible uh, on the ground before you jump. Because this is going to help you a lot. For your jumping. For, uh, yes. So, what I'm doing is three sets of uh, 10 or 20 jump jumps. Depends on the day. And... In between each uh, set, I am having 30 or 40 seconds, like let's say break. So I can loosen my muscles a little bit. Like uh, the jumping rope, something I didn't mention before. Um, I also take a little break in between sets for 30, 40 seconds, because this is really important for you not to get injured because this kind of loosens your muscles and uh, doesn't let your muscles get injured um, easily. And last, but definitely not least, is something that most athletes do not give the attention it needs. That is the glute muscles. The, the butt, let's say, the ass. You know what I'm saying? These muscles are extremely important for the vertical jumping part of the game what we all love. Um, so when you jump, I've said that too many times, they give you power to jump higher. Just like these muscles, these muscles, and every muscle I've shown you this far. So the glutes help you and give you power to jump higher as well. There's windy out here. And the first exercise is you sit like this and you move your feet like this you will have you will feel your cheeks let's say your glutes burn and hurt this actually hurting right now so if they hurt this means you're doing the exercise correctly you will have to do it with both legs okay so i suggest like I suggested before, three sets for this foot, three sets for this foot, 20 reps each set for this, 20 reps each set for this, like every other exercise. And another exercise for the glutes is uh, quite similar. You don't move your leg like this, but you do it like this. You move it like straight, straight back. This also hurts, like burns your muscle. And if you feel this, that means you're doing the exercise correctly and you're improving. So again, three sets, three sets, 20 reps each, 20 reps each, every single day. That's what I'm doing. You can do more, you can do less. That depends, this is depends on. Now, it's actually the last part of the talking part of the video. So, now I'm going to be showing you five tricks or tips, whatever you want to call it, so you can improve um, your approach to the basket mainly. Yeah, only the approach to the basket that are going to help you add inches to your vertical jump. First of, first of all, um, many athletes stutter um, before jumping while they approach the basket. They usually do this and jump no please no don't do that don't do that that slows you down and also doesn't help you that simple it does not help you at it's just your vertical jump um, together with that many athletes also run to the basket and when they get closer to the basket slow down you should not do that you should do the opposite speed up Many athletes do this. 
They slow down when they approach the basket. You should not do that. Dang! The wind. Anyway, so what you're gonna be doing from now on is not stutter for your when you approach the basket and also speed up when you get closer to the basket. So look. I will not stutter and I'm also going to speed up when I approach the basket. So you're gonna see how and if you try it, try it. Like when when you watch this video, go home go on a court and try it. Try it. first stuttering, then slowing down, and then speeding up. You're gonna see a massive um, like difference the trick you can be using is the I call it the hidden step, okay? Because it's the step before you jump that gives you the most power. Many people, many athletes, do not give uh, the attention this step needs. If you're a one foot jumper, you take one, two steps, and you jump, right? The first step you're gonna take, the one, two, like the one two should be the biggest step you gotta take in your life. Not joking. Okay? It should be it should be huge in order for you to gain as much power as you can in order to jump higher. See for yourself. Like, look, I'm actually a super jumper so I'm gonna be showing y'all two foot jumpers in a second. Like, look. Oh shit. Like, the first jump I took, the first step I took was the hidden step, which was huge. So, let's, uh, let me show y'all show, uh, two foot jumpers out there. Like, you, I, I'll begin with my left foot and then with my right foot, because this, uh, feels better for me so um my left uh, my left foot should do a huge step so i can gain as much power as possible look okay so this actually helps you a lot this provides you with power every single thing in this video is about how you can how you can be provided with a lot of power when you jump so this hidden step also provides you with some power in order to add inches to your vertical jump the next trick is how fast you place your feet on the ground and jump um, the fastest you place your feet on the ground and jump the higher and the more power you're going to be provided you're going to be provided with when you jump um so if you do it slowly if you place your feet on the ground slowly and then jump the power you get is less than you need so if you do it quickly as fast as possible like this for example um um the the your muscles and your legs provide you with enough power to jump high and when you master like uh, the 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 speed let's say of uh, this movement you're gonna see results i promise you you're gonna see results finally the last trick tip whatever you want to call it i will be talking about is the arm strength and the arm power people and athletes use when they jump i think all of uh, every athlete out there is using their arms when they jump but they also underestimate it most of the times so if you give it a little bit of attention and and also try doing it while you jump um you're gonna see results so take zion wilson for example he uses his arms with so so much strength and power and so fast that they give him 50 percent and even more of the power he uses to jump this high so if you actually like 
do it with as much power as you can and as and as fast as you can and you're actually like pushing yourself in the on the air in order to jump higher and uh at inches to your vertical jump and so all in all if you use your arm strength and your leg strength with the exercises and the tips and tricks I've talked about so far in this video I promise you you're gonna be seeing results you're gonna be seeing yourself jumping higher than ever before and I think that's about it to be honest um, I think I have finished showing you the exercises I will be doing from now on to improve my vertical jump and also the tricks and tips I'm gonna be using from now on to improve my vertical jump and uh, I will now show you my journey to dunking on this basket and uh, I hope I hel I've helped you improve your vertical jump with these exercises and these tips and tricks and I hope I've motivated you as a young athlete young short athlete uh, to be exact um as much as i want to so enjoy guys that was it i want to thank y'all for watching i really hope you enjoyed um and i really hope that i helped you improve both your vertical jump and your self-esteem mostly for young short athletes like me out there and i catch y'all there